showing you how you can customize your iPhone from this to this just by using the new iOS update. If you're new here, my name is Mel, nice to meet you all. And if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is to make sure that you have the new iOS update on your phone. To do this, you're gonna want to head straight into the settings and type in software. Go to software update and just wait a second if you're not actually already updated then it might take longer than mine has taken so you should have the ios 14.2 if you don't have that already then click update pause this video and come straight back if you have already done this then what you need to do now is head to the app store and type in widget smith so this is the app that you're going to need for this customization and once you've downloaded that you're all set to go really what we should do now is head over to pinterest and choose your aesthetic this is the fun part and it can take long for me it did take quite long because i didn't really know what aesthetic i wanted until i decided to go for the neutrals and i wanted quotes that would motivate me and make me feel positive so i would choose things like this you just click the three dots in the corner download image and also what you should be doing is just looking what other people have done and choosing what you would like so if you was going for this kind of theme you might look for the quote you might look for the same kind of colors it's really cool on pinterest because you can go down and it will also give you pictures that are related to what you're already looking at i kind of like this aesthetic um so yeah once you have got a lot of pictures that you want we'll choose this one as well you then go to your photos choose and you can put one as your background image so i chose this one you go down use as wallpaper set and mine is for my home screen only so that's how i get the background picture what you should do now or what you should do before these steps is up to you is to clean your home screen the cool thing about this new update is that you get the library here the app library so what it means is you can put things from your home screen in here and don't actually lose them. So you don't need to delete them if you don't want them on your home screen. So I could, for example, tidy this by holding it down, remove app, and don't click delete app, just click remove from home screen, and then you can find them here. After that, you're going to want to go straight to the Widget Smith app. and you're as you can see here i've got quite a lot that i've already made um i've got medium ones and small ones but i haven't got any large ones so i'm going to show you how you can make a small one so we click add we click on it click default widget you can choose whichever one you want and change the color for them to make the picture you go straight to photo selected photo choose we'll click this one it's quite cute adjust it Maybe I want it at the bottom and I've got some leaves. Go back, click save and it's there. So to get it on your home screen, what you're going to want to do is just hold down on your home screen, click the plus button that's in the top left, go straight to the Widget Smith app, go on the small, you can go on the medium or small or large, just click choose a small one, tap on it. And then I think this one should be number nine. It's better if you do actually name them as you go along. This one's really cute. Okay, so look, that's how you get it on there. To delete them, you just hold them down and remove a widget. So that is back to my original aesthetic. Now so the next step of this is how to customize your app icons. And the way that you do this is you hit straight to shortcuts, like so you choose oh i think i've got too many so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna delete shortcut okay so you click the plus 
add action, scripting, open app, choose. For this, I'm going to choose app store. You click the three dots in the top right corner. And then to do what I did, I just open this one and then choose from here. And then I chose the color and done. If you want to choose a whole different picture, what you're gonna to need to do is click add home screen and then click that picture from there. That allows you to go on your camera roll, choose, give it a name, so app store, add, and it's added straight to your home screen and it's here. The only bad thing about these is that once you've done that, you're not gonna receive any notifications on that. And that's the whole reason why I did what I did and I kept my front screen nice and clear and I let this second one be busy because this has got all my socials on there and it has got my emails and all the important stuff on there I don't really, really want to stop getting notifications from. You just continue to do that for everything that you want and that's about it. So yeah guys, that's about it for this video. If you do have any more questions, please feel free to pop them below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao guys!